Every Friday we send Big Joe out to find some really cool things that are happening all around Middle Tennessee. He's done it again. Of course he has. The greatest <laughs> show on dirt. Doesn't that just fit Joe Dubin? Is he <laughs> <laughs> Joe Dirt to Town? And thousands are expected at the Fairground Speedway for the inaugural Music City Outlaw Nationals. This thing is so fun. Let's head over to the Fairgrounds. That's where Big Joe is. Uh, Joe, we understand it's a dirty job, but somebody like you has to do it. I got to, yeah, I tell you what, guys, this is amazing. We're live at the National Fairgrounds this week where the World Outlaw Racing Series, Sprint Car Racing Series is in town, and they've taken over the National Fairgrounds. It's a great they 180 truckloads of dirt they brought in, all for the Sprint Car Series, which is here. I'm joined by Logan Shuhart. He's a driver. What last week in Charlotte? This is a lot of fun. This is not a job, man. Nah, it's uh, pretty lucky to be able to do it. It's pretty awesome to travel the country, come to cool places like this, Nashville, meet a lot, a lot of new people, you know, new fans. Yeah, I heard a lot of people this week saying that they, you know, wasn't real sure what a sprint car is, yeah. but they're they're coming to the races and they're happy to check it out. Now, I read 900 horsepower for these cars. Is that accurate? Yeah, 900 horsepower plus. Uh, it's a 1,400-pound race car with a driver in it. Uh, that is our weight rule. It has to weigh at least 1,400 pounds. Uh, but it's a very light race car, very powerful. Uh, like I said, it's a 410 wing sprint car, so the, the engine's 410 cubic inches. Ma majority of them start out as a, a small block Chevy, but right. they're all, all aftermarket parts. Uh, like you can see, it's a, a lot bigger right rear tire than there is a left rear, and they're very big tires, but uh, the reason that is is uh, we call that stagger. Right. Cars turn left. Uh, it's, uh, it makes them turn a little bit easier. And i got to say, you kind of discriminate against large guys like myself because Logan come over here. There's no way I can fit in this. How do you get in here? Uh, very slowly, climb through the side. <laughs> I've had to get out in a hurry sometimes. You can do it. <laughs> so how cool, I mean, so you're all dressed up and your gear on everything and hop in there and that's no problem for you? Nah, once you get used to it, I put my feet in first and you got some roll, roll, roll bars right here. You can grab one too, put your feet in. Steering wheel pops on and off. Uh, so it's, uh, makes it a little easier. You're a good man. Three races you've won. You'd like to win both this weekend out here, right? That, that would be nice if we could. Yeah, it's still, it's not a job. This is a hobby, man. You're, you're racing cars and having fun. I think it's awesome that you get to do this and travel the country. Yeah, I mean, it is my full-time job, but I, I'm very fortunate and lucky to be able to travel the country and meet all these people, come to cool places, like I said, like Nashville. Right. And uh, we do it from February to November. So and in the wintertime, I'm fortunate enough to be able to go to Australia and race. So it's a, it's a pretty cool deal, you know, being a race car driver right. and uh, being able to be out here on the road. Logan, best of luck this weekend, my man. Also, we got news that happened this afternoon. Tony Stewart is going to be racing both nights, Friday and Saturday. So when we say this is a big deal, a big event at the National Fairground Speedway, it is a big deal and ladies coming up at 515 the grand marshal the grand marshal of this race is a rock and roll hall of famer he will join us live we call that a tease in the business <laughs> i'll see you then and of course he's joining joe dubin i'm not sure who's the bigger deal exactly all right joe thank you right. the greatest show on dirt has rolled into nashville for the weekend as the music city outlaw nationals are set to take place and our big joe on the go has been hanging out at the fairground speedway all day long it's a super cool event mm -hmm. and let's go out to the fairgrounds to see joe uh, joe just moments ago we saw you what like drenched live on television yeah Did what you just dry happened off? <laughs> They're getting the track wet for tonight. The guy came by and just blasted me with the water. That's okay, though. I do not melt. Now, I tell you, this race is big time. A lot of big time celebrities here. I got with me right now. Kenny Wallace, NASCAR racing legend. How much? You haven't stopped smiling the whole last hour. Well, there's a lot of legendary uh, races here. You know, you look at Darrell Walter back in the day, what they called it, the Music City 420. Yeah. Four, 420 laps around this asphalt track. But I just saw a three time NASCAR champion, Tony Stewart here, Casey Kane, and. Uh, it's a big event. This is not to be overlooked, and so I'm really excited to uh, be part of this inaugural event. How much fun is it to get on the dirt and feel like you're 15 again? Well, you know, all the great NASCAR drivers, any anybody that's been anybody in auto racing, they right. start on dirt. You sure. know, the great Dale Earnhardt Sr., he started on dirt. So this is just a throwback to the roots uh, of auto racing. So uh, this is an incredible undertaking. Right. You know, getting all this dirt. I don't know how many loads of dirt are on Enough, it. Enough, yeah. Enough. So, yeah. uh they raced here last week, so I think we'll be okay. It'll be fun. Kenny Wallace, thank you. True legend, NASCAR, thank you for your time. Thank you. Kenny, Willa, Kenny Wallace out here, Tony Stewart out here. It starts tonight, goes to tomorrow. Coming up at 515, the Grand Marshal is going to join us. John Oates, 
live right here yes. on News 4. We'll talk to him about his involvement with the race. Guys, just a little bit. Oh, my gosh. Love me some John Oates. Holland Oates. Thank you very much, Joe. From tiny homes to Big Joe, this event sells out everywhere it goes. And this weekend, the only time these cars will run in the state of Tennessee all year long. Big Joe is at the Nashville Fairgrounds Speedway to show us all the fun out there, Joe. Yeah, it's called the World of Outlaws Sprint Car Series of the Nashville Fairgrounds. It's awesome. Enough about me. This is the Grand Marshal of the race, John Oates, rock and roll legend, Hall of Famer. How did you get involved with this? Well, um, you know, I'm a race fan. I go way back. I, I used to watch midgets and sprint cars on dirt back in Pennsylvania where I grew up. Uh, so, you know, over the years, I, I used to race a little bit. I did some sports car racing. And I guess they were looking for somebody who uh, loves this sport, and I love this sport. And I've uh, been living here in Nashville for about 10 or 11 years, and it all works perfectly. And this is not something you just slap your name on and come out of. You love this sport. I love racing. I love all sorts of racing. Formula One, Indy cars, NASCAR, sprint cars, you name it. Uh, so uh, it's, a, it's a blast for me. But to see, see sprint cars on dirt, under the lights, right. that's what it's all about. And the grand, have you ever been grand marshal before of a race? I was actually grand marshal of a NASCAR race back in the 80s at Talladega. Uh, that was the last time. So this is very exciting, very cool, and I'm going to really enjoy myself tonight. And you head to South America tomorrow, right, on tour with Hall & Oates? Yeah, heading to Buenos Aires tomorrow, uh, Santiago, Chile, and Sao Paulo, Brazil. All right, make room for two on that, will you? You got it, man. You want to come? All right. John Oates, thank you, my man. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much. John Oates, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame legend, part of Hall Oates. He's a grand marshal out here tonight for the event, Lisa. The weather is absolutely perfect out here, a little cloud cover. It is a great night to come out to the Fairground Speedway and take in this really cool race that's out here tonight. All right, let's get back to Joe Dubin, live in the dirt tonight, watching the races the Nashville Fairgrounds and the wildly popular world of outlaws racing. Good to see you again, Joe. Tell us what's going on out there. All right, Tracy, how are you? Let's get you on an interview with the race organizer, the guy that brought this cool event to town, Jason Rittenberry. All right, earlier, we before you froze up, uh, how cool is this to bring this race to town? People love this. Yeah, people love dirt track racing, and a lot of people in Nashville have never seen it before. It's a great experience for them, and bringing the World of Outlaws, the, the greatest show on dirt here in Nashville, is just uh, it's a great time. We've talked to some of the racers that are here, NASCAR legends. This is a bucket list race for them. They've never been here before. Absolutely. Bucket list race. Not only is it Nashville, but it's the historic Nashville Fairground Speedway. So many legends have raced here, and to put dirt on that really makes it a bucket list for everybody. And there's a lot of money to be won this weekend, right? Absolutely. The purse for this event's over $150,000. Yeah, can I just hop in a car and get out there? Not sure they would be okay with that, but we, we, we make it work on that for you. Jason, I drive 440 every day, man. I'm good with this, right? Absolutely. <laughs> yes. We, a lot of fun. Or Jason, thanks for your time, man. Thanks, buddy. All right. Thanks, y'all, coming out. Jason Rittenberry, he's a Middle Tennessee guy responsible for this cool event being here at the Fairground Speedway this weekend. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's tonight and tomorrow night. And, again, Tony Stewart, Kenny Wallace, Casey Kane's here, but he's not going to be racing tonight. So a cool event. Look for something fun to do. Tracy, come on out this weekend. I'll send it back to you. Yeah, you already had me at John Oates. That's my favorite part of the whole thing. Yes. Yeah, thank you very much.